In today's video, we're going to talk about one of the lesser known, but still most powerful tools available for Employee Central, and that is mass changes for metadata objects. This is part of our series where we're talking about all of the mass change tools available in Employee Central. So let's get going. Okay, so in our scenario that we are going to demonstrate, we are going to say that everyone above grade eight in the IT organization needs to be reassigned to a different cost center. Maybe the determination was made that everyone above a certain cost salary level is actually overhead and so they need to be applied differently throughout the organization. That's the, what we're going to demonstrate right now. So I'm going to go to mass changes for metadata objects. And that gets me to the screen. Manage mass change runs. I will create a new mass change run. I'll create an ID. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to say IT. Of course, in your organization, you probably will, if you do a lot of mass changes, you'll end up with your own naming standard. For, then we will select the type. In most cases, we're just going to select the position and that's what we've chosen here. I'm gonna choose my effective date. So I'll just choose today's date for the effective date. Then to synchronize to incumbents, of course, this is what I was talking about earlier, which is that I can designate whether, when I make a change on the position, does that change also need to uh, uh, propagate down to the employee level and so the answer is going to be yes here and that allows us to make sure that we when we make a change it impacts not only the position but also the employee and those two objects stay in sync yes yeah, so we're going to select yes there next we're going to add our select and up select and update rule i put i click the little plus button and that gets me to the configure business rules because the business rule is what we're actually going to utilize in order to make the change happen you will see here that i'm going to first i need to select the type of rule that we're needing to make the change based on and in this case it's going to be update rule for mass change run that is what we always use when we're doing these mass changes for metadata objects you will choose that type of business rule then I will say, okay, and then I will add a little description, always do on my business rules. And now I'm going to do my if then statement for my business rule. So I'll come in here and I will select if the department actually uh, if the division equals IT information technology and so I want everyone in the organization who's where the pay grade is above a level eight so I'm going to select pay grade and I'm going to select pay grade level and then I'm going to say if they're above an eight so you can see here that I'm able to do that. Then I what will happen is I'm going to set cost center to be equal to, and let's see, what did I? IT management. All right, so I have now selected my cost center. And so I've created my business rule. Again, real simple, if the division is IT and the pay grade level for the position is over an eight, then we're going to reassign the position. So I'm going to choose that, select an update rule. So I assign the rule and then we will choose our execution mode. So there's run mode and simulate mode. And of course it makes sense you want to simulate it first. So I'll press save there.
Okay, and then after a few minutes, the job will finish. And you can see here, in this case, we are in simulate mode and number of objects that are updated. It clicks on, you can click on this and I can actually see the results. And that gets me the name of the, these are the different positions that are going to get updated. Okay, so now that I have simulated, the next step would be to actually run it for real. And so I will go in, choose execution mode of run, and voila, now it's running for real. Okay, so we have now finished. You can see here the, the execution mode run has completed. And so now let's go look again. Okay, so let's just grab one of these positions and actually look at it so that we can see the change that was made. Click on position org chart. Okay, so you can see here that I've got my managing director. And you see that the cost center has been updated. And then lastly, you will see that 